everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be reacting to three videos. One Llama Arts, one Wants the Entertainment, and one Thomas and Friends. So the first two are scary animations. So let's get started on true Home Alone stories. This one is Llama Arts, so let's get started. This story is from the point of view of a 16-year-old girl. I used to have a boy living next door to me that was obsessed with me. His name was Joey. Every time I would go outside, Joey would come outside as well, as if he were watching me through his windows, waiting for me. He was 17 and very weird, and he didn't seem to have any friends, as he was always home. I tried to give every sign possible that I didn't like this guy, okay. but he wouldn't get the message. So I had to finally just tell him one well, day. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, if a guy is, likes you and he's being creepy and he does this, like, yeah, of course... Yeah, you gotta get this guy to back that off. I don't like him and to leave me alone. Oh, sorry, this way. The look on his face that day is something that oh, won't what leave the? me. Yeah, that, 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 that ain't creepy. That ain't at all creepy. No, uh-uh, no. It was the kind of angry look a toddler gives their parents when they can't have a toy. Coming from See, a 17-year-old, that's much more uh, disturbing. Yeah, creepy. One night, my parents it's left creepy. me to watch the house. I was working on a school project when I felt my bed shift a little bit. Yeah, that's not good. I looked under my bed. Oh my goodness! I screamed as I saw Joey. Like, what the heck? How long has he been under there? I mean, I'm sorry. Total stalker right Joey there. Joey under my bed. I ran away while he tried to crawl out from under my bed. Oh my goodness! I ran to his house and rang the bell at least ten times, telling his parents about it when they opened the door. Joey never came out of my house, so I called the police. His parents begged me not to, but I ignored them. Okay, d see, if the parents are begging you not to, it's obvious that, and I'm not 100% certain, I can't say for certain, but it's obvious they probably know what he's been doing. Like, if they knew, then, yeah, sometimes parents will try to cover it up. They'll try to cover it up to protect their child. Because, yeah, that, that's the thing, though. That's actually a thing where parents try to protect their kids when they do something like this. The police found him still in my room and arrested him. Well, good. Apparently, he admitted this wasn't the first time he had hid under my bed. What? They also found what? pictures of me scattered across his room. The most disturbing what? one was of me sleeping, and it was taken from inside my oh, room. Oh, my goodness. That is just plain creepy. No. Ah. All right, the next video is a Wansi Entertainment scary animation. This one is apparently a WhatsApp conversation. Um, it's a WhatsApp scary story, so let's read what this says first. This WhatsApp conversation, which happened between Conger... Conger I, I don't know how to pronounce that word. I'm sorry. Congasiers? Cong I I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'll just say people. The people and security guards who work at a residential building during the night shift... It was on the employee, that person's WhatsApp group. Yeah, what is that word? I'm sorry. I, I No. Ah. Oh, we're good. Okay, sorry. Just checking something. All right, let's get going. Hello? Hey, guys, I've noticed they're working the night shift on two are put together during the weekend. We have nothing to talk about. Okay, wait. Is this going to be a, th a video where I have to read everything that's going on? Well, this will be an interesting video. I don't want to stop. Well, the night long to be the hottest. There isn't much to talk about. I always feel paranoid. I'm boring person. And I'm really tired much quicker if there's nothing to talk about. I listen to music, watching films, distraction, keeping my mind occupied out the night shift. I understand I'm sort of person who needs a good conversation to keep myself awake. Okay, so far so good. Well, there's not much to talk about for a whole shift when there are two people are working together during the fun weekends. We won't be in the mood for talking. I have a talent for causing conversations. That sounds like great talent. This is going to be a reading. No, seriously. Cause the conversation to happen. Well, the night shifts have worked with you up to prove that you are not. Okay, this is going way too fast. Okay, I need to pause this for a second. This is going a little too fast. Hang on, everybody. Give me a second. I'm back, guys. Um, a lot just happened. Um, apparently my Instagram account got hacked, so I had to fix that. So, yeah, that just happened. Um, funny thing how that happened while I'm making a YouTube video. That, that's scary. 
Anyway, so this is going a little too fast, so let us continue. Um, no, seriously, I can cause conversation to happen. Well, all night shifts I have worked with you up to now are proof that you are not. Or unless you are trying to talk us through your mind, LOL. No, seriously, guys, I can cause a conversation with the last night shift. It's not just for me, but the other people working together during the night shift as well. Just watch Netflix, but I heard the managers telling off some of the other people for watching some on the computers throughout the whole night shift. Is this going to be reading the whole time? I cannot manage a whole night shift without entertainment. We don't need entertainment because I could cause a conversation to happen when it put real effort into it. It'll see, calm down. To be honest, sometimes I like silence. I don't feel like talking all the time, which two people are working together this weekend, me and David. You two are going to have a lot to talk about. A couple days later in the weekend, David and Robbie are working together in the residential building. During the weekends, they are both working the Friday night shift from 10 p.m. to 9 a.m. This is going to be reading the whole time. Like, I was not expecting this. Okay, let's see what happens. Crap, guys, a tenant has been murdered. What? What the heck? Which tenant? Whoa, they never expect things like this to happen. Yes, tenants' families came to the building completely sick and worried for the male tenant. He lived in apartment 34. What the? Yeah, that's weird to happen. Trooper, wait. Wait. I'll, I'll t Just wait, Trooper. Just wait. You could come up, though. Anyways, guys, so like I was saying, um, to know that this has happened, you know what? This is just... What the heck? Just what the heck? Yes, Trooper is my dog. He just... Yeah, he wanted something, and... Yeah, he's fine. He just wants some snuggles because mom and dad are out. Anyways, let us continue, shall we? Um, the whole night shift has been dealing with the police and ambulances as well as grieving, as well as the grieving family members. Um, even the managers came down just now at 4 a.m. We have have had a moment to ourselves, but we cannot stop talking about it. Well, duh, someone was just murdered. This feels like one of those games, you know, like, a uh, Snarl? Not Snarl, them. You guys know what I'm talking about. Those, those, those scary texting apps, um, where they tell scary stories. Trooper, stop it. Where they tell those scary stories and, you, you know what I mean? You know, those scary texting game apps where they, where they tell scary stories. I think Snarl is one of them. I, I can't remember. Um, it, it's been so long, I'm... But anyways, let's continue. I am told I am good at causing conversations. What the heck, Steve? This isn't funny at all. Steve, that is not funny. And joking about something who's just been murdered is out of order. No, definitely not funny. The male ten. Okay, wait, why would he make a joke about that? It's like... See, I'm, I'm putting on my crime junkie brain here for a minute. And it's like... It's like... Steve doesn't want to talk about it. I, I could be wrong. I don't know. Maybe Steve did do something. I don't know. I, I If I looked at the crime scene, if they showed the crime scene on the video, I could probably figure it out. But anyways, moving on. Um, no, definitely not funny. The male tenant in apartment 34 has been mutilated all over and his family members have gotten strained texts from tenants on mobile. Ooh. If it's Steve, I'm gonna... Okay, I have to pause this to read all this. Police will be questioning all of us because the... Because all of us have keys to every apartment and the deceased male has been murdered for a couple days. I wasn't supposed to say anything about this, but one of the detectives secretly told me that the dead body had been most probably murdered around Thursday early morning. That's what the forensics first guesses, and it's not, and it's Saturday now. See, now I'm wondering, Steve isn't saying much. Did he do something? So what happened? Oh, it gives you time to read it. Now you tell me. Well, I have to pause to read sometimes. Steve, Steve weren't you working the morning show? See? 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 I'm wondering. Just the way Steve made that comment. See how the two are on the night shift have something to talk about and about about now. Yeah. See how these two people on the night shift have something to talk about now. Their minds are occupied. Told you, Robbie, we don't need... It was Steve! 
It was Steve! I, I'm putting my money on it! It was Steve! How much do we want to bet Steve did this? How much do we want to bet? Steve, this is serious. We're all going to be questioned by CCTV and the, and the CTV. Yeah. Go back and read that! I didn't read that! Go back! Okay, here it is. Yeah, we don't need entertainment. Yeah, okay, here we go. Steve, this is serious. We're all going to be questioned about this, and the CCTV will be looked at, so behave, pal. See, I'm wondering if it was Steve. I'm wondering! Just putting on my crime jerky brain, just the way he's talking. David and Robbie are doing the Saturday night shift together at, from 10 p.m. to 9 a.m. I cannot talk today, but I'm betting you it's Steve. Cause I'm sorry, I, I listen to Crime Junkie and the deck. Um, I'm just thinking here, the way he's acting in the text messages and the way he's all, um, the way he's all calm, like he's not freaked out. Everybody else is freaking out and he's joking about it, saying, see, we don't need entertainment. I, I can't say for certain, but I'm gonna put my money on it with Steve. Me and David have been talking about the tenant in the apartment 34. We both can't believe what just happened. He was the top guy as well. He always had a smile on his face, never grumpy, unlike some other tenants who lived in the building. It's 5 a.m. now, and that's all me and David have talked about. David's gone for a smoke now. I would have kept my eye on him. I would have kept my eye on him. Guys, I haven't been on WhatsApp group in ages, and my morning shift was questioned by the police. But all my alibis were confirmed. I couldn't believe what has happened. The tenant in department 34, he was such a nice man. I couldn't go to sleep at all night thinking about it. Imagine doing the night shift alone. Now on the weekdays, it'll be a bit more scarier, knowing that there's a murderer on the loose. Me and David are also questioned by the police. We both started our shift, but we'll both be okay as well. I was questioned... Uh, hang on, this is going way too fast again! I was questioned as well on the evening shift. My alibi checks out. Is there anyone left who hasn't been questioned? I think Steve, Nathan, Flora, and a few others, actually. I think they're only going to question us who work in the particular building. Other buildings the residential companies own will be kept out. I have covered for Nathan, and after that, I will go back to the original building. When I come back, I will be doing a night shift alone. See, David, Robbie, I told you I'm good at causing conversations. See, he keeps... It's Steve! I'm betting you! It is Steve! What on earth are you on about? And you haven't questioned yet? Yet. Dude, stop saying crap like that. You're gonna... Yeah. Okay, you're all going too fast! When the police question you, what are you gonna say? I'll just tell them I'm good at causing conversations. He's trying to change the subject! What are you on your next shift? Back on the night shift Sunday, and I'm going to cause more conversations to go around for everybody. See? See? He's... He's trying to get conversations going. That Sunday, Steve was arrested. I knew it! When the police checked the CCTV. They clearly saw Steve going oh! into the office and opening the master key cupboard room and taking a spare apartment 34 what? key and putting it in his Wait, cupboard. Trooper. And then they saw Steve walking on the same floor where apartment 34 is based in. Unbelievable! Then they saw Steve come back. I knew it! Just the way his behavior was! I knew it! His behavior totally seemed off to me! To the reception with his shirt a little bloody, and he wore a waistcoat to cover it up. Of course he did. When they took his fingerprints and DNA, they found that the deceased male was covered with Steve's fingerprints and Ooh. DNA. All Steve could say was that he was trying to cause a conversation to happen. See, I just... I knew. I knew that the way he was acting, I just... Crime Junkie Brain. Guys, listen to Crime Junkie, by the way. They love their podcast. All right, the last video, everybody, is a Thomas and Friends one, Lobster on the Line. I haven't seen this. Let's take a look at this. Oh, let's get the intro here. Because I just don't want to get in Instead trouble. Instead of catching them with, with fishing rods, coins. they are captured by using wooden traps and are pulled by a chain to lift them out. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. When they are captured, ba -da -ba. they take them to the harbor and load them into trucks for the engines to take. Ba -da -ba. I am so weird. Some of them are transferred to lorries so they can deliver them to the shops and the high-end restaurants in various towns. Well, yeah, for lobsters, And the yeah. rest are taken to the mainland by rail. Well, yeah, obviously. One day, the fat controller was thinking of new ideas to entice more people to visit his railway. 
particularly the Little Western, since more people travel there during the summer. What was he thinking? I'm scared to ask! introduce a lobster train. You mean like a dining service, sir? Indeed. The Little Western often transport lobsters from the harbour, and they are very common this time of the year. I've never heard of We have a lot of people train. coming to the line during the summer, and I think this will prove to be a good way to attract even more visitors to our railway. The board members agreed. Lobster train. The next day, the fat controller went to the sheds and... Am I the only one that think that sounds funny? A lobster train? Alsbrough I'm sorry. And told the it engines sounds funny. about the new dining service. We'll be calling this train the Western Lobster Service. From Friday to Tuesday ah. night, each of you will be pulling the train from the big... Western Lobster Service? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's a funny station name! to the Seashine Town and back. I'm like, what? The little Western <laughs> engines were excited. Later, oh, Duck was talking to the other engines about it. Daisy, however, felt jealous. It's not fair, she pouted. Why do you like lobsters? Mr. Lobster Service Train sounds like something that I, a prestige diesel rail car, should haul. A dining service on a rail car Ooh. like me would definitely bring more. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm going to say it again. Daisy's one of those engines I do not like. She's one of those engines I do not like. I'm sorry. To this railway. She is so stuck I up. Windows. Passengers can see the lovely seaside coastal view while having their lobsters for dinner fresh from the sea. But no. Daisy, shut up. Potential lost. Well, I'm sorry, Daisy. But for a dining service to work, you ought to have a kitchen for the chefs to cook for the passengers. And you don't have one. They can oh, place the lobsters on some stone tables the passengers hop on board. I'll let the dinner go cold. No chance. Daisy just huffed and she rolled away towards Harwick. They're gonna give Daisy ideas. You realize that? They're gonna give Daisy ideas. The next night, Donald puffed into the big station with a special order of lobsters. Oh, boy. Great. We'll leave them here on the platform and wait for Dennis to bring in the Pullman coaches. Oh, After the lobsters had been offloaded onto the platform, Daisy pulled into the station with her passengers. But she was still in a sour mood from earlier. Of course Not she is, because she's stuck up! bring a smile to Daisy. <laughs> Meanwhile, across the platform, the men started to lift the crates of lobsters into the Pullman coaches. I still think they are missing a wonderful opportunity by not using me. Daisy, While she was shut complaining up. to herself, one of the men tripped and dropped the crate that he was holding, uh -oh. which then broke open. Lobsters were everywhere, even on the tracks. Lobsters All on the line! Was until the lines could be cleared. Daisy shrieked in fright. Oh no! It's the eels all over again! Eek! Eek! She wailed. Did, in no time does she not know what a lobster looks like? Paul, the station master, Dennis's driver, oh, and some passengers no. had cleaned up the mess and placed the lobsters into new crates. Daisy was relieved. Thank goodness, she sighed. At least I won't have to deal with those things again. Don't mind the lobsters, Daisy. They are harmless creatures, replied the station master. Wait, Trooper, wait. Later, Daisy rolled away back to Harwick. I'm glad that I'm not taking that vile train. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So first she wants to. And then she sees the lobsters. And now she's like, I'm glad I'm not pulling that train anymore. Make up your mind, Daisy! Gah. Come oh, on! Where's the driver? There's a lobster in here. A lobster? How did a lobster get inside my cab? Oh, do please get it out, sir. They look horrible. Uh, I can't. I have a fear of lobsters. Oh, no. I wrote this horrid thing out of my cab now. So, wait. She she now doesn't like lobsters. The driver is afraid of lobsters. What? What? I'm you sorry. Wailed. What? I got it. 
shouted a voice. Oh, this is Thank way too you, funny, said the worried driver. I knew all along that they were just creatures not fit for a prestige engine like I. Oh, my goodness, Daisy! Shut up! That night, the Western Lobster Service was getting ready for its oh, debut run. What are we going to do with Daisy? Other engines made it out to the Emily! ceremony, and the There's pool Emily! coaches were gleaming bright and proud within the station. I love Emily. Daisy pulled in with her passengers from Harwick. She was still getting over her episode with the lobsters earlier. Well, duh. So, Daisy, it looks like you finally got the the lobster train after all. Only thing is, your passenger was the main course, snickered Douglas. I have to agree on that one. You can keep that train, was all she could say. Well... Anyways, everybody, that is all for today. I will see you all in the next video. Adios, everybody. This is Caber101 signing out.